Guys, I have the great privilege Aww. of interviewing Jim Brady's better half. Oh, Melissa Brady. Thank hey, you so thank much for joining you. me. <laughs> thank you. He's my better half, but that's good. <laughs> okay. Well, you guys are watching. <laughs> Most of you for years now, they've known Jim mm -hmm. with the Booth brothers. So we're not going to talk much about him. Oh. We want to talk tonight about Melissa. Jim and I both met uh, as kids when we were about 10 years old. Uh, my family traveled doing evangelistic work, his family traveled doing evangelistic work, and we both were singing with our families. And so we were singing and ministering at some of the same places. So we were friends for about 10 years. Wow. And um, so I told my dad, I said, Dad, it's Jim. I'm going to marry Jim. And we had kind of started dating. And uh, about a year later, we got married. And then we traveled and sang together for almost 10 years. A lot of people don't know that. They're like, oh, we never heard you before. Wow. But we traveled with my dad in a group called the Schulers. And so we traveled and sang, the three of us, and um, loved it. We call it the good old days, getting mm -hmm. to travel with dad. We weren't quite as busy then, so we had some time off. And the boys would treat me to dinner and a movie or something for my birthday. So that was fun. Um, but anyway, we traveled and did that for a while. And then the Booth Brothers called. And at first, Jim said, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to leave you. We sing together. And I said to him, you know, when the Lord gives you an opportunity, I think we should at least pray about it. Because mm -hmm. I was, I didn't want him to necessarily leave me because uh, I would be alone. But uh, we just, the more we prayed about it, we knew it was God's will. So he went with them for almost 13 years. Mm -hmm. And so I was doing a lot of stuff at home. Uh, my parents had some health issues during that time. So I was able to, I had the freedom to go to Ohio and help take care of them. And then I did some solo dates and women's events and I did a lot of filling in. And then um, three years ago now, yes. the Lord started the winds of change in our life and we didn't know what it was. And it was eventually, obviously, us traveling and singing together again. What the Lord has taught me in the last few years, because we went through 15 months of a lot of difficulty. A lot of yeah. people know in 15 months, we lost Jim's dad, his sister, my mom, and Jim's brother. And there's been a lot of pain. Plus a new group. Plus a I mean, new just group. A all lot kinds of stuff. stuff going on, yeah. A lot of stuff. And so it's Jim would tell you the highs have been high and the lows have been low because yeah. God's really blessed our group and given us opportunities beyond our wildest dreams. But in the midst of that, all of this difficulty and some great pain. And I've learned this last year that I can either wallow in the pain mm. and be sad and just eat Cheetos and watch Hallmark movies with happy endings, which is sometimes fun. <laughs> but that's not a life with purpose or I can let God redeem the pain in my life. And if I do that, then he takes the pain that I feel and he uses it to help someone else. And about a month ago, a lady, now I'm going to get teary eyed cause you got me all on the heart. A we lady, don't have a, a tissue sponsor. So I don't I'll just do any. this. Um, a lady came to me about a month ago and she said, my mom died two weeks ago and I was able to look at her in truth and say, I've been there, you're going to make it. And at that moment, God said, now, aren't you thankful for that? Mm, and I could actually, good. it was such a shock to me that I could say, yes, I'm actually thankful. Not that my mom is gone, but that with her being gone, I can help someone else. That's good. So I'm learning to let God use my pain and then it's redeemed and it's worth it.